Hey guys, today we're going to do a chicken rice bake. I'm cutting up some chicken thighs that I have. You could use chicken breasts if you want or shredded chicken. That's totally up to you. But I have these thighs, so I'm going to go ahead and cut up two cups worth, which is about four thighs, uh, doing bite-sized cuts. And I'm going to put them in the air fryer. You could definitely pop them right into a frying pan with a little bit of butter or oil and cook them up that way. It won't, wouldn't take long at all. So, But I'm using the air fryer today. While the chicken is cooking, I'm going to put on two cups of my uh, minute rice to add to this meal as well. So once they're all cut up, I want to add a little bit of salt and pepper and some garlic powder. And then I'm just going to mix it all up right in this container that I have here. I'm going to add the chicken to the basket and just spread it around evenly so it gets evenly cooked. And then I have different choices on my air fryer. Uh, instead of picking the chicken button, I'm going to click the french fry button and then adjust the time and temperature. Now I'm using the french fry button because halfway through your time it will prompt you to shake or stir your chicken that is in the basket and that will get it to cook thoroughly. And all you have to do is adjust your time to 390 degrees for 10 minutes for the chicken. Okay, so we're going to take a can of cream of mushroom soup. Just one can. This is a 10.5 ounce. We're going to take a half a cup of sour cream. Put that in there. We're going to take a third of a cup of milk. Put that in. And mix it. Okay, then I'm going to do one cup of onions, red peppers, and green peppers all mixed. I done, got them out of the garden and froze them up, so I'm just mixing them all together. But you could certainly use fresh or frozen or whatever you like. I want to take two cups. Uh, I have Fiesta cheese, but you could certainly use whatever kind you would like. I'm going to mix that in there. Two cups. Two heaping cups, evidently. Okay, we're going to put our chicken in from the air fryer. All of it without all the grease in there, if we can. And we're gonna mix that in. And I have some carrots, just canned carrots, and I'm using my knife and chopping them up because I don't want them to be great big pieces. So, just, I mean, if there's a few, it's okay. But you can put whatever you want in here. Um, oh, what would be good in here? Broccoli would be good in here. Beans, whatever you like for vegetables. I want some color. So we're just going to put some carrots in here and they're good for you. So why not? Okay, so then we're going to take our two cups of rice that I cooked up while the chicken was cooking. Gonna stir that all in. It will all fit. I have some bacon cooking in a pan right now. I've got four slices cooking. 
so that I can crumble it up and put it on top. I'm going to put some nonstick spray on my pan. And then I'm going to drop this all right down in the pan. And I just smooth it out. Okay, so I have three tablespoons of butter in the bottom of this bowl. I'm gonna get a cup of a cup of breadcrumbs. These are seasoned Italian style breadcrumbs. It's about a cup, and I'm gonna pour them in. Okay, and then I'm just going to stir them into the butter to make sure that they get all coated. You could use plain breadcrumbs, you could use crackers. I have breadcrumbs, so that's what I'm going to use. Then we're just going to sprinkle them on the top of our little casserole here. So it's all covered over. I'm gonna put a little bit more, just sprinkle a little bit more cheese on top. And then I'm gonna go get my bacon and crumble that on top. Okay, here's uh, four slices of bacon. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on the top. I have my oven set to 350 degrees. And we're gonna cook this for about 30 to 35 minutes, depending on what it looks like. I'm gonna cover this with, with foil before I put it in. Okay, so here it is. I cooked it for 35 minutes. It needed that extra five minutes. I took the foil off for that extra five. There it is. Delicious looking. A little piece of chicken. I'm gonna get that in there. There you go. There's your chicken, chicken bake that should be totally delicious.